early 80s, the first time I ever interviewed Elvis Costello, and there have been more than one time. He was in town. Uh, they called me, I think, that day to say, you know, uh, Richard Neer was the program director at NEW at that point. I think he called me day of to say, Elvis Costello is available tonight. And I was like, well, Yahoo, yeah, I'll do that. And um, so I knew the guy at his record label named Jim Del Balzo, and uh, I asked Jim, can we please get in touch with Elvis at his hotel and tell him that rather than this be an interview, which he's probably sick of by now, how about he comes in and plays what he wants, you know, guest DJ, whatever you want to call it. And Costello loved the idea, and he showed up with a lot of really cool stuff, especially a lot of, like, old jump blues and vintage stuff, really fun records. And I was told that we had 45 minutes, and... Elvis and I were getting along like a house on fire, and every now and then he'd look at me like he couldn't believe that there was all this freedom and we were doing what we wanted. At one point, as a matter of fact, we got into talking about um, Catholic school dances because he too had experienced uh, that. And when he came up with the uh, memory of what had been said to him on a dance floor by a nun, and I was talking about almost the same thing at the same time, <laughs> he said, uh, didn't they come up to you and say, if you're dancing too close with your partner and the nuns are watching you, leave room for the Holy Ghost? And um, he told a few stories like that that just had me cracked up, but the response from the audience of people that really kind of were connecting with him. By the end of the visit, um, I asked him to pick the final record but not tell me what it was. And uh, he went across the hall, because this was at NEW FM where this interview was going on, but across the hall at NEW AM was a great big band and standards radio station. And Elvis loves that stuff. And I think that his father worked in that field of music. So he came back with the disc, vinyl, and I just said, just hand it to me. I'm going to put it on the turntable. Tell me which track. I'll cue it up. I don't want to know what it is. I want it to be a surprise to me. And I said, you will end the show, Elvis, by just announce this record as however you want to and say goodnight. And so we finished up the commercials that were on, and I threw the mic to him, and he just said something to the effect of that he couldn't believe what a great time he had had for the last two and a half hours and how it felt like it went by in five minutes. And all of the freedom that was allowed to him to play anything he wanted to on a big New York City rock and roll station. And then he just said, so fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. And I hit the record, and on comes the voice of Sinatra. And I still get chills when I think about that. It was a, it was a great moment, and it was a, a, a visit that got, for weeks and weeks after, mail and response of people just going, wow, you know. And what did we do? We let him be freeform.